at the completion of a recent trip to visit family in Northeast Ohio. Margie and I considered extending our journey north and east into central New York to the well-known area of the Finger Lakes. In previous trips, years ago, we would travel through New York, usually heading toward destinations in the east, Boston and New York City, of course, and the fall-colored hills of New England. Whether on the north or the south, each time we would cruise quickly by the Finger Lakes, perhaps with a quick stop to catch a small glimpse of one of the lakes. We decided once and for all to rectify that oversight. We were going to see the Finger Lakes in a proper way, touch the water, see the sights, and experience this New York icon. We've heard so much about this place. Now it's high time to see for ourselves and to find out why. We pulled out a map and headed into the general vicinity of the lakes without a real plan. As it turned out, we would visit three of the lakes. Cayuca, Seneca, and Cayuga Lakes. Our first stop would be in the city of Hammondsport, located in the southern tip of Lake Cayuga. The small town street led us in no time to a beautiful city park overlooking the lake. It was a gorgeous summer, a perfect setting simply to sit, stare, and soak in the luscious scenery. The Finger Lakes are a group of 11 long, finger-like lakes located directly south of Lake Ontario in an area called the Finger Lakes region. This region straddles the northern and transitional edge of the Allegheny Plateau known as the Finger Lakes Uplands and the Ontario Lowlands region to the north. We turned our stopover at Kiyuka Lake into a casual and very relaxing lunch stop. We enjoyed the gentle lake breeze and tracked sailboats crossing the lake in the distance. The lake is surrounded by vineyards and wineries which earned it the title the cradle of the wine industry in New York. A vineyard. Lots of vineyards. Leaving Cayuca Lake and heading north and east on State Highway 54, the road climbed sharply out of the valley. We get a good look at the lake from above. Based on what we experienced here at Cayuca, we were anxious to see Seneca Lake, where we planned to camp for the night at Watkins Glen State Park. It's a very relaxing drive towards Seneca Lake. Quiet and scenic back roads take us about 15 miles east, where we connect up with Highway 14 South. It's there where we catch our first glimpse of Seneca Lake from above. In turn, we head down a steep series of roads to the town of Watkins Glen at the southern tip of the lake.
We enter Watkins Glen in late afternoon, so we head straight for our campsite at the State Park, which is located on the southwest edge of town. The park is situated mostly on the hillside and bluffs overlooking the town and the actual glen that we'll have an opportunity to explore tomorrow. Seneca Lake is the largest of the Eleven Finger Lakes. It's also the deepest glacial lake entirely within the state. Like Keuka, Seneca Lake's climate is similar and it is home to over 50 wineries. Our plans the next morning include a Seneca Lake cruise and then a visit to the bottom of Watkins Glen near the center of town. For our boat ride on the lake we head over to Seneca Lakes Cruises where we book an hour-long cruise. We have our pick of seats on the boat. We've got our windbreakers with us, so we alternate sitting inside and outside on the top deck. The waters were relatively calm, but it was a bit on the cool side, but we had blue skies for terrific viewing. Our short cruise took us along the lake's western shore, about five miles north, and then crossing over to the eastern shore. We had a great guide who shared geographical and historical information about the lake and pointed out several landmarks, including waterfalls, along its eastern cliffs and shore. We highly recommend taking this short cruise if you're in the area. In the evening, there are dinner cruises for a longer lake experience, along with sunset views. You'll love it. Watkins Glen State Park is actually located in the village of Watkins Glen itself. In fact, you can walk to the park's lower gorge directly from downtown. The park was opened to the public in 1863 and was privately run for a while as a tourist resort until 1906, when it was purchased by New York State. The park's main feature is the 400-foot deep gorge cut through solid rock by Glen Creek. The park features three trails. They're open from mid-May to early November, by which hikers can climb or descend the gorge. We decide to take a leisurely stroll to see some of the park's 19 waterfalls and several of the stone bridges crossing Glen Creek.
Watkins Glen. We've been here only a day or so. Our opinion? It's a beautiful place. The Glen Gorge, Seneca Lake, and the surrounding area. It's definitely a destination place to visit. We continue heading east to Cayuga Lake, our third and final Finger Lake to see and explore on this trip. As with Cayuga Lake, we leave the southern tip of Seneca Lake with a long climb up and along the eastern side of the lake. Another great look at the lake below. We're headed to the town of Ithaca at the southern tip of Cayuga Lake and then north along the western shore of the lake to Toganok Falls State Park where we plan to overnight. The Toganok State Park Waterfall is one of the most beautiful natural attractions in this part of the country. We opt for driving to a gorge rim parking area and then take a short hike to see these spectacular falls. The views did not disappoint. Unfortunately, you can go down there. Yeah. Well, you can see it from over here. Toganok Falls plunges some 215 feet past rocky cliffs that tower nearly 400 feet above the gorge. There are several gorge and rim trails that provide spectacular views from above the falls and from below at the end of the gorge trail. Toganok Falls, another of the many scenic wonders of the Finger Lakes. Oh Alright, going down from the Falls Overlook. Here's the money shot. We conclude our trip by visiting the marina section of the park. Here we are able to enjoy beautiful Cayuga Lakeside views, enjoy another lunch, and take a leisurely stroll.
Our Finger Lakes adventure comes to a close as we amble along the western shore of the lake, toward Lake Ontario, and eventually to the Thousand Islands region north of Watertown. We'll save that portion of our New York trip for another video. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.